Hi, my name is Simon from Motordrome and today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, 1998 Land Rover Defender 90 Wolf 300 TDI soft top, uh, obviously ex-military, that you can see lurking behind me. Two videos, one walk around, one driving, plus a bit of uh, engine running action as well, I should think, at the end. Um, hope you like them. Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 1998 Land Rover Defender 90 Wolf 300 TDI. Um, apologies, it's a bit grubby. I've just um, come back from the workshop in it and it's a foul day here. It's all raining and miserable, but the photos do show it in its, uh, in its proper condition. It just had to uh, pop into our workshop to have a brake pipe replaced because the uh, clown of a transport driver that delivered it managed to rip off one of the rear brake pipes. Um, but anyway, it's back with us now. But say, I haven't cleaned it since it's come back from the workshop. Just bought it back. But here it is, um, Defender 90 300 TDI Wolf soft top. Rather nice. Uh, finished in NATO IRR drab, and unusually for one of these, the paint is, we think, the original paint. Um, obviously, it's a bit stained and watermarked here at the minute, as you can see up there on the bonnet. But um, if you look at the reference, the photos, that's what it uh, what it should look like. Say so when it's when it's clean, it's not miserable, wet and raining. Uh, raining here. Um, standard Wolf spec, so it's got the military front bumper, the um, uh, steering guard under it, a matching set of five Goodyear G90 tyres on it. This one's got the Pioneer tools on the bonnet and on the wing tops. Uh, it's got the vents on the side. Uh, it's obviously had replacement door tops. Um, it's got the uh, military rear bumperettes and the NATO tow hook. Um, 24 volts they all are and it's got the iconic spare wheel on the side uh, this is a pre Remus update one because the Remus update they moved the spare wheel um, so in other words it's got the inside it's got the half cage rather than the full cage that goes over the front uh, it's got twin rear bench seats in the back that one is folded away with seat belts there's also down there that's an um, that's a uh, a rack for uh, slrs which would normally fit here on the bulkhead um but isn't fitted at the moment um but yeah standard spec car and as i say in my opinion rather nice uh, last owner knew what he had and looked after it accordingly but let's take a walk around it, see if we can pick out any good bits and bad bits. Um, front bumper could possibly do with a, a lick of paint. Um, we've got some paint loss here around the grill area, but as I say, to my, to my mind, it's nicer to see it in what we think is the original paint. Um, slight dent just down there on the base of the near side front wing. But looking down the side of it, apart from that, looks pretty straight and tidy. Actually, that the door top on the passenger side is probably the original, I think possibly the just the driver's one's been replaced. Um, proper wolf rims. See if we can see anything under here of chassis condition. That's your front outrigger. Looking at the B post, it's bubbling just slightly there below the hinge and there's a bit of electrolytic reaction on the door skin there. But up the A post, looks good scuttle corner on the near side looks fine so just apart from the water staining um, the screen rubber has obviously seen better days probably the original and the screen looks to be in good shape as well as does the roof now i'm not quite tall enough to see the top of the roof but hopefully you can if i hold the camera up there because they do tend to wear on the center section there where the roll bar's underneath it, but that looks pretty good from what I can see of the camera. We can generally see inside anyway, which we'll do that in a minute. Near side door, the only thing I will say, the previous owner had its sign written for his business and you can just faintly see some, some of the sign writing in the paint. That will probably come off if you tea cut it, but I can't promise it. Um, been touched in there on the back of the near side door. In here, let's have a look at these door frames actually feel pretty good um, let's have a look at the bulkhead up the side let's see if we can pull this mat back there's the floor and the passenger side um, dash top is okay it's not cracked and I can't see any pinhole 
pinholes in the roof at all, so imagine that's pretty good. Um, passenger seat, these are just some water drips on here from where I've had the doors open and stuff. A little bit of wear just there in the corner of the, the vinyl. This one's got the middle seat in it as well, which it wouldn't originally have had. Uh, previous owners put this in, but having said that, I can't see a seat belt for it. It should really have a seat belt. Um, but the, the original section that goes here uh, is still with the car if you want to put it back in. But uh, yeah, so the middle seat's been fitted. Um, heater blower motor works does actually produce a fair amount of heat although it really needs a new pipe between there and there for it to go onto the screen on the near side but minor thing there um, near side rear wing been touched in a couple of places around there uh, but otherwise it's okay look underneath Bit of paint missing just there, I think. Yep. Difficult to tell with all, with all the dirt. Um, bit of reaction here around the number plate area. Back of the rear cross member. Tailgate. Unusually, the tailgate isn't um, isn't dented. Uh, rear window is still hasn't gone opaque yet. Just need to put the uh, where we've had the. I need to put the clips back in, which I'll do in a minute. Actually, whilst this is out, we'll show you inside the back. Yeah, so those, that's, that's, that there is the, the cover that goes in place of the middle seat, and that's the rifle rack there. Um, so you've got twin benches there and there on this side. Um, looking down the offside again, looks pretty straight. In fact, the door fit is very good on it. Again, some areas where the paint has been touched in, just down there. Um, back of the chassis. Bit of paint lost there. Again, you can faintly see um, the previous owner's sign writing on the door there, but as I say, I think probably with a Good bit of teacup that will probably come off, but it's not um, it's not overly visible. We'll cover it with some military uh, signage. Scuff a corner on the offside. Um, we've got a slight depression in the top of the offside front wing just here, and a scratch along there, and a bit of paint loss and stuff around the front part of the wing, but it's not dented. post is all good and then inside on the driver's side again door bottom feels okay Let's have a look at the bulkhead it looks all right in there Let's see if we can pull this mat back Let's look at the football. Oh. again footwell in very good shape Driver's seat, we have got a little bit of trim missing, a little bit of split in the vinyl just there, and a couple of cracks in the vinyl on the base, but no more than that. Uh, 183,000 kilometres, and it's still got its convoy light um, cover on it. So yeah, it's all correct. It's all correct. I think it's a nice wolf. It drives, no, it drives really well. Um, still got its military data plate there. Shows it's a TUL HS. Wolf is the generic name for them. But there we have it. Um, nice wolf in my opinion. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. Or you can go to our website, which is www.moto-drome.com. So a bit of engine running action on this uh, 1998 Defender 90 Wolf 300 TDI. As you can see, the warning lights come up. Fuel gauge is going up, although sometimes the fuel gauge does stop working, but it is working now. It's nice and warm at the minute. Fire up, everything goes out as it should. 
and now uh, we'll get out and have to show you the engine so the camera will move about a bit I'm afraid I haven't mastered the art of getting out without doing that at all everyone <coughs> so here we are military reconditioned 300 TDI reconditioning plate is there on top of the Clement chamber Just in service, just the ball came to us. Whilst we're here, we'll show you a bit of the bolt head inside. The proper 300 TDI. It's running exactly as it should. So there we have it.